Hey there, it's Alexis from Purgeloo, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own custom stamps with the Silhouette Mint. I'll walk you through everything from unboxing to your first stamp. You ready? Let's go. Okay, here's my Silhouette Mint. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see everything that comes with it. All right, so first we have the software and we have a couple of stamp kits in two sizes. Have a USB cord. And this is the stamp block, which matches the sizes of the uh, stamp kits that came with the set. Then we have the power cord and four inks. There's uh, black, blue, red, and yellow. And then we have the actual Silhouette Mint uh, unit. Here it is, it's really small, it's cute. That's it. Okay, so the machine comes with the software on a disc, but if you don't have a disc drive in your computer or if you lose the disc, here's where you can download the software on the Silhouette website. So you just wanna to go to silhouetteamerica.com, scroll to the bottom and click on Update Software. Then scroll down and find Mint Studio, and then select either Mac or Windows depending on what computer you have. Click it and it should start downloading. Then you just want to install that software on your computer. Next, you're gonna plug the power cord into the back of your Silhouette Mint and then plug it in to the wall, of course, and then the USB cord into your Mint and into your computer where you've downloaded the software. Then just push the button on top to turn it on. Now we are going to design our stamp. So the first thing that you need to do is to select the stamp size that you're going to be creating. I'm going to create a 45 by 45 millimeter square stamp, so that's what I'm gonna select here. Now we are going to just pick what design we want to use to make our stamp. First I'm gonna open up the library, and most of the designs that you see here actually come with the machine. It comes with 50 free designs, the first time that you open your software with your machine plugged in and turned on, you'll get a little pop-up window allowing you to download those 50 free designs. So you can choose one of those, you can buy designs from the Silhouette store, or you can use your own images. I'm going to open up one of my own designs here. This is a PNG file of a little hand-lettered phrase that I did, and I'm just going to open that up and then you can scale and rotate it until you like the way it looks, fitting on your uh, stamp base. And then you're ready to print your stamp. So just click on the little leaf icon here, and that will automatically mirror your design so that it will stamp correctly. Then click Start Mint, and take your stamp sheet, and you're gonna place it into the back of the mint machine with the arrow facing into the machine and the machine will print the stamp and it only takes about a minute to print, it's really quick. When it's done printing, remove the stamp sheet from the machine and then fold the cardboard backing back at the perforated line and gently peel, remove the stamp sheet from the paper backing. Next, take your stamp base and it can be easier if you slide it onto the uh, stamping block. You can share the stamping block with different stamps. That's kind of cool. Take the lid off and then you can peel the paper backing off to uh, reveal the adhesive. And then line your stamp sheet up and place it onto the adhesive of the stamp base. Now you're ready to apply ink. I'm using black and magenta inks for this stamp. And all you need to do is squeeze the stamp or the ink onto your stamp where you want the different colors to go. If you don't want the colors to blend together, you have to leave some space in between them. And you kind of just, you can glob it on a little bit. You don't need tons, but you want to leave a little excess ink sitting on top of the stamp because it's going to soak in. So after 10 minutes, 
here's what my stamp looks like. And it is ready to stamp. You can see the ink has soaked into the stamp. So I'm going to just take my stamp and the first like probably five or six stamps will be kind of goopy. You're getting the excess ink off, but pretty soon it will start looking a lot cleaner and really reveal your design. The last thing to do is to stamp your design onto one of the sticker sheets that comes with your kit. Just line it up with the sticker, stamp it on, and then apply it to the lid of your stamp so you know which stamp you're using. It's kind of fun. And that's it. You are all ready for some stamping. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for lots more craft tutorials and ideas. Until next time, happy making.